Have you ever looked up in the sky and seen those streaks that planes sometimes leave? Well, actually, we don't even know if planes are leaving them, right? We just guess that, yeah, that came from a plane. Well, the other day I was outside looking up at the sky, I know, big flex, and I saw these streaks again. And the same thing happens that happens every time I look up and I see these streaks. I think to myself, there are those streaks again, and I still don't know what they are. I mean, once again, like I said, I know that they are probably from planes but I don't know that for sure. And these plain streaks fall under this category of things that I don't quite understand right now, but for some reason I think inevitably one day I will know what they mean. But something else like that. Let's see, popcorn. Can you make popcorn from just normal corn? I don't know, but I've never looked it up. I don't know, I haven't confirmed it. It's the same thing with these plain streaks. I guess they come from planes, but I've never confirmed it, so how do I know? Well, now I know, because I looked it up. So if you're out there, and you were just like me, you looked up in the sky and you saw these plane trails, and you didn't know what they were, well, sit back and relax as I tell you what plane trails are. So just right off the start, these trails are not clouds, even though they look like it. But these trails and clouds are made of like very similar things. So then there's your explanation, right? It's made of the same stuff clouds are made out of. But do you know what clouds are made out of? I honestly, if you were to quiz me, just pull me aside on the side of the street and be like, you have to tell me what clouds are made out of, or I'm going to take all your belongings, I would be in squalor. It is true, I would have no belongings, because I don't know. Well, clouds are mostly made of water vapor, and these plane trails are the same way. They're mostly water vapor. But in the trails, where does this water come from? Well, as we know, jets fly super high and super fast, and the only way they're able to do this is their engine. That's right. And just like car engines need gas to run, jet engines need fuel to run. And when these engines burn that fuel, they let out waste, which we call exhaust. I know, kind of like this video, am I right? Because I'm just throwing so much information at you. It's probably exhausting. <laughs> There's going to be more of that, so just be ready. Well, what is exhaust? I just said it was waste, right? But what is it? Well, jet exhaust is made up of a bunch of little pieces of shit. Not literally shit. Jet exhaust is made up of a bunch of little things, like uh, pieces of dirt, heat, and a type of water that is so spread out in the air that we can't see it with our naked eye. And that is called water vapor. Oh yeah, you remember? That's a... That's a thing I talked about earlier. Water vapor was the thing I said clouds and plane trails are mostly made out of. Remember that? Oh my god, it's coming all full circle. And humans, even though we're not as fast as jets, we actually make a type of exhaust too. And that happens every time we breathe out. You see, human exhaust is very close to jet exhaust. It has some of the same things, like heat and water vapor. Maybe the little particles of dirt, if, you know, that's the lifestyle you live, but mostly the heat and the water vapor. And you can actually test this on your own. If you put your hand close to your mouth and you breathe on it, how does it feel? Go ahead, I'll give you some time. Try it out. Let me know how it goes for you. It should be the same as mine. I don't know. Well, not my breath, but you should, you know, just, you know what to do. How does it feel? It's warm, right? You can feel heat when you breathe out. But what about the water vapor? That's a little trickier because it's hard to see. But if you breathe out the same way on like a window or a mirror, you can see that fog, right? That's that water vapor. When the vapor in your warm breath touches a window or a mirror, it changes into teeny tiny droplets of water. And when enough of those teeny tiny droplets are put together, that's when you see fog on your window or your mirror. But earlier, when you just breathe on your hand, you know, you couldn't really see the water vapor. And it's the same thing with these jet trails, these plane trails. Usually you can't see the water vapor. But when can you see your breath? There is an instance when we can see our breath, right? And that's when it's cold. You ever go to somewhere with snow and you do that thing where you try to act like you're doing vape tricks even though you're cool? So you've never touched a vape. That's right, folks. Vapes are out of style now. Which implies that they were once in style. But yeah, on a cold day, you know, you go somewhere that's cold, you breathe out and you can see all this water vapor in the air. The same thing is happening with these planes, with these jets. If it's cold, you can see the water vapor. You see, the higher up you get in the sky, the colder it gets. Like, there's that one scene from Iron Man, right, when he's testing out the suit, and then he goes all the way up, and then he freezes. Yeah, it's really cold up there. So when jets are all the way up there, the cold air 
cools the water vapor in the jet's exhaust and it becomes uh, water droplets or even little pieces of ice. And a shit ton of these little droplets of water or pieces of ice make the plane trail that we see with our naked eyes. Well, I dress mine up with some specs, but that's just so I can see anything in life. And I'm no size queen, but we have to admit some of these plane trails are thin and some of them are quite wide. And you know, some last a long time and some dissolve pretty quickly. And these factors, like size and how long they last, depend on how much water vapor is in the jet's exhaust and how high the jet is flying. So then we figured it out, right? If there's a jet up way high, there'll be a trail behind it, right? So then why aren't we seeing trails all the time? Great. That, you know what, day plus, I'm out of gold stars, but you know, next time I'll, I'll bring them. No, I won't. In this economy, you know? But it's true, I have to admit. You know, I just gave a very solid explanation, but it is true that sometimes you don't see a trail. Why is that? Well, actually the explanation is very simple too. Basically what we just talked about. If you see a plane and it doesn't leave behind a trail, it's either not that cold where the plane is flying, or the plane has a type of engine that doesn't contain much water vapor in the exhaust. So yes, that's the explanation behind plane trails. The same reason we sometimes see these streaks in the sky from planes is the same reason we can see our breath when it's cold outside. The exhaust has water vapor, and if it's cold enough, it turns into water droplets or ice. So yeah. That's where plane trails come from. Way easier to explain than the whole baby thing, you know? I still don't really get that one myself. Is the stork supposed to watch you do it? 